Welcome Beard Channel followers and non-followers and new people alike. Happy New Year. I wish you all the best and have a safe New Year. Now, would you guys like to win a free beard kit? Absolutely. Who wants your beard kit? All right. Beard grooming kit. Right here. Free. Totally free. All you have to do is go ahead and hit the subscribe button to the Beard Channel's page. Once the Beard Channel's page has 50 subscribers, we'll go ahead and kick off the contest for you to win the free beard kit. Okay? Simple. Click subscribe, win a free beard kit. Now, for everybody who has already subscribed to the Beard Channel's page, not to worry, you've already been accounted for. Okay? Simple. So, 50 to, uh, subscribers or more will get you an entry for the beard kit. Cool, right? Moving along, today I want to talk about dry, itchy beard. A beard, where you're growing a beard and it tends to get really, you know, brittle, perhaps dry. You really need to find a good beard oil that's going to be suitable for you. Now, there's there's tons of different beard oils. I have ones I don't like. I have ones I really like. I have ones that I highly recommend. I have ones that I would not recommend. Okay, so stick around here. I'm going to show you one that I will recommend and one that I don't recommend. Okay, hello, hello. Starting off with one beard oil that I would highly recommend. This one, Cigarwood Ode beard oil right here. Okay, this one. This one, it's really, really good by Renewed, Renewed, uh, Renewed Beard, uh, Beard Oil. Okay, this is, uh, it says tobacco, oud, amber, birch, black pepper, and smoky vanilla. Really, really like this. And it's, it's one of my personal favorites. The smell, the smell will last all day long with this one. Nice smoky cigar, oud, oud flavor, however you, you want to put that. Now with this one. Shake it up, just put a couple drops, and you can rub it on. Now, another thing you can do when you have it in here is you can dab it through the beard like that, as such, and then rub it through. Now, it says to use two or three drops, which is fair for this one, and it really will soften up your beard and my god it smells great i can't stress it enough that one is one of my all-time favorites the cigar wood ode i also use your beard balm now the beard balm gets a little greasy but you know it catches all the flies the strays fly away strays so that really helps a lot there there as well now that's great i love that one fantastic you should try it out you know, no complaints in that department with that one. But, hit subscribe to that page. Hang tight. I'm going to go grab one for us that I just would not, <laughs> not recommend. And I'll tell you why. All right, guys. Thanks. Thanks for uh, hanging in there and subscribing to win the uh, old free beard kit here. You know, the old uh, beard kit. Right. Thank you for subscribing. As I said, I'm going to go ahead and show you one now that I would not recommend here it is old world beard oil by a company called captain thug okay now i got this on amazon to try out yes it was cheap i wanted to try a cheap one because i've had luck with cheap beard oils i've had luck with ones at work you know i think that other one i just showed you guys only costs around like 11 11 bucks some can get as much as 20 30 bucks which i've seen uh, the average cost is you know, 12 to 17, um, sometimes 20. Um, but yeah, um, Captain Thug makes a beard oil. And Where do you think this was uh, made before I tell you? Go ahead and hit the pause, drop a comment, and tell me where this beard oil was made. Okay. Yeah, all right. Okay, so... Now we've had time for the uh, for you guys to leave a comment. Let me open it up here. And once we're once we're done showing you this, I will reveal where it's made. Oh, you, or, I mean, I've opened it once and I've tried it once. Believe me, this is what I saw when I opened it. Immediately, here's a bottle. It's already falling apart. 
So, kept a thug. He's not thugging, he's falling apart. Old world, maybe it was made in the old world, the old times, because <laughs> the bottle feels a little greasy. Like it leaked a little bit during shipping. And also, if you can see this, when it was made. 2020. Yeah. 12, 2020. It's like almost three years ago. Same thing, shake it up. Now immediately, when I'm shaking this up, I can feel it more like, I don't know if it's a little thicker of a consistency. Now before I put this on for you, I just, I just cracked it a little bit. And if you've ever smelled like a cedar, a cedar pile of chips, cedar chips, this smells like a pile of cedar chips. Like they just ground a bunch of cedar chips up and melted them down and threw it in a bottle. And I'll go over the ingredients in a minute because I don't think I've seen these type of ingredients in a beard oil. I mean, some of them, yes, but some of the ones in here, I'm just like, whoa, hold on. There no vitamin E or no vitamin stuff. All right, let's undo her here. Okay, here's your droplet. And it it is super strong when it comes out. So I'm only using three drops and I can already smell, smell it. And it, it, there it is. I don't know if you can see it with the light, but like I said, it smells like just a bunch of cedar chips melted down into some kind of cons oily consistency. Well, I mean, I don't mind the smell too much, you know. Um, it works, sort of. I mean, it doesn't soft, soften up your beard like the other stuff does that I have. And you your hands almost a little sticky. Now that gets to, uh, it gets to my next point. I'm gonna wash my hands off. Um, would I recommend putting this on your beard? It's up to you, it's cheap. You know, I can definitely leave a link in the uh, my Amazon affiliate page for you to go ahead and try this if if you'd like to. I mean, it's not for me, okay? It's not for me. Now, pulling up the box again here, let me read to you. Let me read to you what this says. Old World is perfect balance of premium grade organic oils that are the best suited for your beard nurturing needs, which will leave the beard feeling light and well conditioned. The essential oils are an ideal con. No, con I can't even read today. Concoction to give you a fuller and thicker beard. So it's basically telling you the essential oils are what gives you a fuller and thicker beard, which that's bullshit right there. Uh, uh, the unique blend of geranium. Geranium. Now, if you can put that in the comments, what, what chemical or whatever that is. I mean, I know a plant in this geranium. Throw it in the comments. Tell me what that is and if you've ever seen geranium in a beard oil. Spices and heavenly rejuvenating heavenly and rejuvenating that can be worn all day uh to be honest it does still smell a little bit but you know the other beard oil that i was showing you that i quick drop of um that smells all day remember this this label was peeling off so let's see here, what's what we got going? What's in here? Oh, oil, geranium oil, wheat germ oil. Now, also, I've never heard of wheat germ oil in a beard oil, but maybe I just haven't seen that, uh, or just you've been using one that is actually, just, you know, all natural. Um, so it says best before 24 months well, from the date. So it's giving it a while. So 12 and one. And, a little, a little outdated here. Um, uh, Dispense a few drops, but yeah, ingredients, jojoba oil, geranium oil, wheat germ oil, and it says oil base. What, what's the base? What's the base oil? What are, what, are, what are they using, you know, for base with this? Here again, old thug, or, or I should say Captain Thug Old World, right there. And then put this back, back in their box. 
course they have a website called CaptainThug.com. I haven't tried anything else by them. This was dirt cheap. It's like six bucks on Amazon. I mean, I guess I can leave you guys the link for this in the description if you'd like one um, to try it yourself. But for me, it's not really doing anything for my beard at all, except, you know, it's, it's actually already kind of dried out with it. I don't really recommend it, um, you know, but, you know, this one right here, I highly recommend that one. Even your store-bought ones. Um, you, you go to Walmart, pick up some Honest Amish if uh, you're out and about. That's pretty good stuff. Um, if you have to go to a store to buy some. Again, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to tell you to avoid this here. Okay. Just, um, just, you know, just, I would just avoid it. I'm not... Don't waste your money on this one. And when you can go to other places, you can go to a Marshalls and go to their section that has like the cheap colognes mixed with the other ones and things like that. You can find much better stuff. In fact, I did. I came across some really nice stuff on there that I actually tried and I really, really like. So stick around for that. I'll show, show you guys a whole video on that one uh, and the stuff that I picked up there as well. Subscribe to the page, win this beard kit, okay? Got your bombs, your comb, your scissors, things like that. And I believe there's a free beard ebook that you can download with this as well. Again, 50 subscribers kicks it off. It's gonna go on for, you know, two weeks. All right, we'll do it for two weeks. Randomly pick a, uh, a winner for this guy. Then I'll reach out um, and let you know, hey, you're the winner. Shoot me an email at thebeardchannel at gmail.com and I'll get your address and ship it out. Easy. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Win, win, win. If this goes well, I'll get some really nice beard oils and things like that that I'll put on promotion. We'll get those shipped out uh, in a, you know, another contest down the line. So remember, subscribe. Also, don't use this Captain Thug. It's useless. And as always, don't shave your beard. Happy New Year.